it operates in a lift regime. We're actively controlling it, we're actively turning it up to a certain speed, and we end up getting more power out of it than we put in. One aspect of our research here at APL is to begin with basic laboratory experiments to understand uh, the fundamentals of how marine energy system operates. From there, we work to transition those ideas and findings to field scale technologies. We have a number of examples where experiments performed by students in early stage research have informed uh, designs that have since been deployed in the field. We're starting to uh, have the motion we would need to generate some, some energy. The overall system has two parts. It has a surface float that's um, about two meters in diameter, and then it has a heave plate below it. And the heave plate, you can think of like an anchor. So instead of anchoring to the seafloor, though, we just anchor to the water. The relative motion between the float and the plate creates tension on a line. The generator consists of coils that are being moved across a bar of permanent magnets. That induces a current and creates electricity. A highly versatile, modern infrastructure for testing all kinds of different marine renewable energy. In the near future, we are looking forward to the deployment of numerous wave and tidal energy devices in the field. This is an exciting time for our program and an exciting time for the Navy.